Hi YouTube, Tim Unkert from UnkertEducation.com here. In this video, we're going to set up VS Code so it has the look and feel of Sublime Text. But before we get to that, if you like videos where I show you how to install and set up software, make sure to subscribe. With that out of the way, let's get started. So Sublime Text has a fairly minimal UI. It doesn't have this activity bar on the left, so let's get rid of that. So I'm going to do Control shift p and I can type in activity. And one of the options that comes up is view toggle activity bar visibility. I'm going to hit enter on that. And that's going to take away my activity bar. Sublime Text does have a mini map that is up by default, so we'll keep that. And it does have a status bar, but we can get rid of that because we want to make this as minimal as possible. So I'm going to do Control Shift P, type in status and I get view toggle status bar visibility. I'm going to hit enter on that. So that's going to get rid of that and makes it a bit more minimal. Now to bring up extensions, I can do control shift X to get my extensions up. And what I want to do is I want to search for sublime. Okay. And if I search for sublime, you'll see the sublime text key map that'll come up. I'll install that one. Okay. So that's good. And the next thing I'll do is I'll sub install this Sublime VS Code theme. I'll install that. Okay, and I'm going to set that theme. And I'll close this out. And I'll do uh, Control-Shift-E to bring back the File Explorer. And Control-K, Control-B to close it out, which is a Sublime Text shortcut. So at this point, this looks a lot like Sublime Text. It's much more like the look and feel of Sublime Text. One thing you might, might want to do is make sure that your tab size is at four, which would match Sublime Text. In a previous video, I changed it to two to match the Pulsar text editor, or rather the Atom text editor. Um, and it is set typically at four, but you can check this setting. Okay, so now we've got the same tab spacing as Sublime Text. Another thing you might want to do is if you like Mariana, you can do Control Shift X and you can search for Mariana. I want to make sure I spell this right. Yep, and we get Mariana here. And uh, I think this is the one. I'm going to click install. And now we can set the theme at Mariana. Okay, and if I do control K B to close out the sidebar, yeah, that looks like the Mariana theme, which is the default in Sublime Text 4. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you to get your VS Code look and feel like Sublime Text. If it was helpful to you, could you please help out the video by giving it a like. Thank you.